Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's simplify this expression, and we're going to have to apply some exponent rules. Uh, first, we have this negative exponent, and you cannot have a negative exponent, but you can get rid of it by moving whatever it's attached to to the other, uh, either upstairs or downstairs, or we'll need to move it below. So let's work through this. Let's first, 5x times 9x is 45x. The rule with exponents is whenever you have the, when you multiply, you either add or subtract. We have a negative and a positive, so we're going to take the sign of the negative because it's larger, and 5 minus 3 is negative 2. And that's going to be over 8x to the 9th. Okay? So now, in order to get rid of, excuse me, to, uh, yes, get rid of the negative exponent, we need to move what it's attached to to the bottom. So we're going to have to move a positive 2, okay? So these cancel out. This becomes, let me rewrite it, 45 over uh, 8. And then we have 9 plus 2 is 11, so it will be 8x to the 11th, okay? Again, we had to move this negative exponent to the bottom in order for it to become a positive okay and then we added the 9 and the 2 that gave us the 11. let's work another example okay we have the same thing here let's go ahead and get started uh, first let's multiply 4x and 5x and that equals uh, i'm going to write it down here 20x okay and we have a negative 8 and a 1. Remember, same thing as before. We're going to subtract them. Negative 8, 8 and positive 1 is negative 7. Okay, so this is an 8. And right here, you have a positive 1. And that gives you a negative 7. Okay? And then we have 2x squared. Now, we have the same thing. Remember, you only move it what it's attached to. And it's attached to the x so we've got to move this to the bottom. So it's going to be x plus 7. These will cancel. Cancel. This becomes a 20 over 2x. And remember, we're going to add them. 7 plus 2 is 9. Now we can further simplify it by dividing it by 2. So we'll divide uh, this by 2 this by 2, and that equals 10 over x to the 9. Okay, let's work one more final one. I'm showing you this one just so that you um, make sure that you're moving what it's attached to and you can't combine like terms. So we've got a negative on the top and a negative exponent on the bottom. So this is going to have to be moved to the top and this is going to have to be moved down to the bottom. And nothing's going to happen to the x to the fourth. So let's go ahead and start rewriting this. Okay, so we have 3, negative 2. That will become 3 squared. And then we have x to the fourth. We aren't going to do anything with that. And then this y to the negative third needs to be moved to the top. Okay, so that's what we have. And we can... Further simplify a little bit more by the top is going to remain the same, x to the fourth, y to the third, and then 3 squared is 9, because 3 times 3 equals 9. Okay, I hope that helped with, helped with applying some exponent rules. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.